Welcome everybody, my name is Max Schaldach and I come from Zurich, Switzerland, where I'm visiting the Freies Gymnasium in Zürich. My project centered on improving the aerodynamic performance of quadcopter rotor blades, a mode of transportation that is doing enormous technological progress at the moment and will shape our future. Quadcopters will be implemented on a daily basis, from use in the delivery logistics to persona transportation and many more. Because of my interest in aerospace engineering and these kind of ideas, I came across a concept of two German scientists. The propeller theory by Beetz and Schmitz. I derived from it key performance indicators for quadcopter rotor blades and started forming a theoretical basis for my research and my calculations. In a simplified manner, my overarching goal was to produce rotors with a uniform lift force distribution. To this end, I researched on the selection of suited air force and the modification, created 3D models in a CAD software using their modified coordinates, additionally modified them with self-designed winglets, and finally 3D printed the resulting rotor blades. After finishing the production process, I then tested my models on the self-constructed test rig and compared them to the standard rotors of the world's leading quadcopter company DJI. All my prototypes proved fully functional and my second prototype with my self-developed slope winglets eventually even outperformed the DJI standard rotors in terms of their lift performance, namely the ratio between their rotational rates and the generated lift force. The self-produced rotors were, however, slightly less energy efficient, which was a result of material and manufacturing, as well as a few aerodynamic factors which I'm going to overcome in the next few months. If these steps yield positive results, I've planned three major cooperation projects, from use on an acquaintance's award-winning propeller-driven rocket, to my future university's aerospace club, to the implementation of nature-based engineering concepts, and a small commercial trial which has already seen initial interest. The potential applications are thus diverse and I'm greatly looking forward to advancing this project. Thank you very much.